What's going on everybody? Welcome to a short and sweet episode of Fish and Grubs. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Hummingbird Fish Finder and what we're gonna to do to set it up in ice fishing mode. Let's do this. All right, folks, so the first thing we got is as soon as we turn on this fish finder, this is the screen we have. I hit view once, I see my flasher here, and then I see over here just the, the normal graph. You hit view one more time, and this is the view I like the most. You go up, press this up button so that you get as far up as possible. You want the bottom as low as, as you can get it. On this side right here, you're gonna see the jig live. Same with over here. This is just like a normal flasher. But over here, you're gonna see the jig live, and then you're gonna see the history of it on this side. And that's what I love the most about this fish finder. Now, since I don't have a lithium ion battery yet, I'm gonna hit this power button. I'm gonna go down into night mode, and I'm gonna turn it down to five, and that's really gonna conserve battery. And we are all set to go. All right, folks, let's show you this thing in action real quick. Now, for the first few weeks, I was using it not in ice fishing mode, and I loved that. Um, for the past couple weeks, I've tried doing it this way to see which I actually like better. And to tell you the truth, I think this is the way to do it. Uh, ice fishing mode, flasher on one side, and the two times zoomed in on the other with your history so you can see like what your jig was doing when you got these fish to bite. We're gonna drop our jig down and we're gonna watch it slide all the way down to the bottom. Now you can see on the graph, that's where our jig hit the bottom. Then we're gonna raise it up, just a touch. We're gonna see if there's actually some fish in this hole. And there are. You already got one on us. You can see the fish. There's actually two fish now. One here, one here and then us. See if we can get them to come up. See, when you see the history, it's the best thing about this graph, is that you can actually see what your jig is doing. I'm hammering it, and it does those short little hops. I get the big hops. You can see what coaxes the fish into actually coming up. See, these big hops right now are working. Getting that fish to come and take a look. This is great because we can see the gain here. Range zero to 21 feet. You can see your battery life is at 83. You got your time. Um, you can see exactly what your cone set at. This is, this is the best setup there is. And then this is zoomed in two times on the bottom. One of the other things I want to show you real quick, you got your declutter on. Gain I have set to 11. And then you have the color. Uh, down here you have sonar colors and you actually have a wide range of different colors you can set whether it be at night look at that 19 there's 19 different color settings orange black and white black and white green green and white black and gray black white and gray uh, black with the color I like this one here seven and that's like a fluorescent That's it. So you can shift through all these colors to find the one that you can see the best. This is the one I like the most. Well, folks, that's it for today's episode. Just a quick rundown on how this thing is uh, for ice fishing mode. My thoughts on it. I absolutely love this thing. The more I use it, the more I get in touch with how it works and what it's doing. I absolutely love this fish finder and I'm sure I'm gonna figure out more as time goes on and that's it. The only thing I would change about it is the battery. I would send this thing out of the shop with a lithium ion. That's what Humminbird should do because who wants to dim their screen all the way down on a bright day like today? I sure as heck don't. You guys don't get to see it as well and that stinks but for all intents and purposes uh, this thing works great and I am in love with this ice fishing mode. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you have any suggestions for me, please leave them down below. I'm gonna get the fishing. <laughs>